In this video, we're going to demonstrate ultrasound guided arterial line placement using the bevel guide technique in an angiocath needle. The bevel is the portion of the angiocath assembly that reliably reflects the ultrasound beam directly back to the transducer, and thus provides the clearest image of the needle in relation to surrounding structures. An important consideration is that the ultrasound beam often needs to be tilted to be perpendicular with the angled plane of the bevel. In this animation, we're going to demonstrate the steps in this technique. To start, the approximate center of the transducer is positioned over the center of the vessel. There are two distinct phases in using the bevel to accurately locate the tip of the angiocath. The first stage of tracking the bevel is from skin prick to entry into the vessel. The emphasis here is on keeping the beam perpendicular to the plane of the bevel. To do so, the operator tilts the transducer to optimize conditions for visualization. In the ultrasound image seen here, the bevel is seen off-center from the vessel, and adjustments of the angiocath are therefore necessary. As the needle is advanced, the ultrasound transducer is translated at a similar angle to continue to visualize the bevel. The second stage of tracking the bevel is after entry into the vessel itself. Tilting of the probe is less important here due to the echogenicity of the bevel head against the background. The angle may be either maintained or decreased. The body of the bevel is bright and hyperechoic in the lumen. As the transducer is translated proximally, the bevel seen in the lumen becomes smaller and smaller until it disappears. The smallest observable part is the tip of the bevel. When the bevel tip is visualized and properly positioned, the angiocath may be advanced into the vessel until the ultrasound beam cuts again through the body of the bevel. This appears on ultrasound as an enlarging hyperechoic object in the lumen. The transducer is then translated proximally again to visualize only the tip of the bevel. Repeating this process allows for real-time visualization of the angiocath as it is advanced into the vessel of interest. The steps will now be repeated again on a simulated arm to reiterate the relationship of the ultrasound transducer and angiocath. In the first stage from skin prick to entry into the vessel, the operator tilts the ultrasound transducer to ensure that the beam is perpendicular to the plane of the bevel. As the needle is advanced, the ultrasound transducer is translated with a similar angle to continue to visualize the bevel. After entry into the vessel, the angle may be maintained or decreased to optimize visualization. In this specific example, the angle is maintained. The process of visualizing the body of the bevel, translating the ultrasound proximally to visualize the tip, and advancing the angiocath to again visualize the body, is repeated to guide the angiocatheter into the vessel. Prior to advancement of the catheter over the needle itself, a quick sideways wiggle without advancing may help ensure that the tip of the bevel is free and not snagged on a wall. And finally, we'll now demonstrate this technique on a patient who is undergoing arterial line placement in the right radial artery. The patient is first prepped and draped for sterility. The vessel is identified and the approximate center of the probe is aligned with the center of the vessel. Local anesthetic, in this case 1% lidocaine, is administered subcutaneously for patient comfort. The injectate can be visualized on ultrasound. The bevel of the angiocath is now advanced only to the point that the whole bevel is subcutaneous. Now, the ultrasound transducer is tilted away from the entry site to position the beam approximately perpendicular to the plane of the bevel. Here, the tip of the bevel on the ultrasound image can be seen medial to the vessel. Small sideways movements of the hub are performed to position the bevel directly above the center of the vessel. With the tip positioned exactly above the vessel, the bevel is introduced into the arterial lumen with a subtle jabbing motion. The body of the bevel can now be seen as a bright and hyperechoic structure in the lumen. The process of visualizing the body of the bevel, translating the ultrasound proximally to visualize the tip, 
and advancing the angiocatheter again visualize the body is repeated to guide the angiocatheter into the vessel. Now the catheter can be threaded off into the vessel. The spring wire guide is inserted through the catheter to allow for exchange for a longer 3-inch indwelling catheter via the Seldinger technique. Sterile tubing is connected to the indwelling catheter and flushed. The arterial line is finally secured with benzoin and a sterile dressing. 